to DIY Yolandi. As you've read from the title, today we are creating a very easy and affordable pot lid holder. So the beautiful thing with the pot lid holder is that it holds your pot lids. So if you would like to know how to easily create a pot lid holder, stay tuned to this video. So the first step that we are going to do guys is uh, with our wooden piece here is I'm going to measure 50, well 40 centimeters because that's how long I want um, the holder to be um, and then we will then drill in with our spade bit. So I'm using my spirit level to just draw a straight line. The straight line is where I will be cutting with my jigsaw. Now we am clamping this baby down so that it doesn't move while I use my jigsaw. Because we all know that with the jigsaw, it shakes the piece of wood. So remember always run the jigsaw before cutting so that uh, you, you have a straight cut uh, on your wood so drillers um because i have created a how to use a a drill tutorial I'm not going to take you all through me inserting the drill bit and all of that uh, just click the, the link of the video up here or also down in the description box uh, and head on over to that video just to learn how to insert a drill bit so now I'm going to be measuring where I'll be positioning my dowel holes we are then now going to insert our dowels uh, and then we are done isn't that crazy Yolanda never does an easy DIY video well, welcome today. So here I'm just marking off where I'll be placing the dolls. I'm just doing a five centimeter interval. Awesome. So, um, as you guys are aware, we always uh, ensure that we sand down the splinters when we have cut a piece or we've drilled into a piece of wood. This is to uh, prevent uh, you getting injured through the splinters. So, I'm going to sand the edges down um, and then we move on to drilling in our piece of wood. and now we're just going to insert our dowels um, and then uh, I'm going to do finishing touches sand it down nicely and then we reveal pot lids will then uh, stand in between here and then you have a pot lid holder 
Um, so to ensure that the dowels stay in place, you can glue it uh, or you can just hammer them in place. If you're going to hammer them in place, gently utilize your hammer. Do not hammer, hum, hammer hard down to your dowels. Just gently tap uh, on the dowel so that the dowel does not break. With that incident just happening right now, uh, I think let's hear from our sponsors for today's video. Today's sponsors is Interceptor Africa. Interceptor Africa is a company that uh, sells and produces safety boots of high quality. In many of the posts that I have created, I've shared the importance of always having your safety gear on point. Um, and safety boots is one of the key things in ensuring that when an incident like what you just saw now happens, your toes are safe, tucked away in the safety boot. You see, when working with DIYs, uh, you find yourself dropping nail pins, you find yourself dropping your tool that you're working with. Uh, so when, when you wear a safety boot, you do not have to worry about uh, impaling yourself with the pin nail or injuring yourself in any manner. My three favorite things about the Interceptor Africa safety boots is number one, they are stylish. Hello. Have you seen them? Like, check out these boots. They have sizes starting from UK size two. What's beautiful about that is that in the safety boots that I have uh, found when I went shopping is that a lot of uh, suppliers do not cater for uh, female feet. We all know our feet are not the largest. Uh, some women do have large feet and that's fine. Uh, but some women do wear sizes fours. And, and, and uh, what I love about, the, uh, about Interceptor Africa is that uh, they start from, U from the UK size two. When it comes to their safety boots, and their designs are unisex. And thirdly, even though they do have a, a steel structure within them, but they are not uncomfortable to walk with. And those are my three favorite things about the Interceptor Africa safety boots. You can find Interceptor Africa on Instagram and on Facebook and on their website. The details are right here on the screen, so do check them out. Let's get back to DIYing. And just like that, we are finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to check out Interceptor Africa's Instagram, Facebook, and their website. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on all social platforms at DIY Yolandi. And don't forget, power tools have no gender. See you next time. Peace.